Tonight, there are growing concerns over artificial intelligence being used in our elections. Thanks for joining us tonight for 12 News at 5. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. With 82 days to go before Arizona's primary election, 12 News journalist William Pitts shares how artificial intelligence could impact decision 2024. Elections officials say it's not a question of if AI will affect the elections, it's a question of when and how bad. Arizona Secretary of State Adrian Fontes. That's not Secretary of State Adrian Fontes. Consider the best and worst ways this technology can be used. It looks like him, sounds like him, even acts like him. Damit ein böswilliger Angreifer Inhalte für ihn generieren kann. But Fontes doesn't speak German. In fact, he never even recorded this, never actually said those words. A malicious actor could use your likeness and benefit from the trust that people place in you to trick them and spread dangerous lies. It's an AI video. Fontes played the video during an exercise on election security for the media to demonstrate how easy it is to create disinformation. After all, what if that video had told people the election had been canceled? It wasn't until after the defake that I kind of personally had that little bit of shock. The level of AI sophistication grows exponentially every few months. What you learn now is out of date soon, which makes it hard to defend against it. We've already seen AI used to try to influence voters in New Hampshire. Uh, I don't have any doubt uh, that folks are going to try to get away with those shenanigans here in Arizona. I think seeing this and seeing just in six months how much it's evolved, definitely eyes wide open. Dana Lewis is the new Pinal County recorder. So they're letting you know. She and the other election officials in this room have spent months trying to plan for the rise of AI. Oh, I definitely think that we're going to see more AI during the presidential election. Officials demonstrated how easy it is to make fake news stories that look like the real thing. Fake social media posts, photos, and of course, video. Because all of this didn't take days of work. It took minutes and most of it was free. Ask yourself this, what is the source? Is this content real? William Pitts, 12 News. Well, thanks. There is a lot of misinformation out there, which is why we want to help you identify AI-generated content. We have information on how you can spot a fake on 12news.com.